Ladies and gentlemen, Friday comes with a different kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a standout day from every other day, but yeah. We, we love it because, you know, it just ushers in the weekend. Yeah, that's that the way the feeling. term, there's this term. They say that Friday feeling. Mm. You know, it was coined some time ago. And, uh, well, hey, being the last day of the working week, people just naturally feel more relaxed. They're more easygoing on a Friday. Yeah. That's why I'm on a, like a t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, so you're allowed to let your hair down. Mm -hmm. and Speaking of letting her hair down. Do your thing. Mary is looking like she came to play today. Play? <laughs> uh -uh. Okay. If you call this a play dress, mm -hmm. sure, I came to play. What? How you doing? I feel so pink today. Yes. Oh yeah, very <laughs> I nice. should probably have worn this last Friday. <laughs> feeling really girly, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It works, it works. Yeah, yeah it does, right? Yeah. Welcome to a special edition of Wake Up Nigeria. Undoubtedly, the best thing on television right now. We have a couple of interesting things lined up just for you today. So make sure you stay with us till the very end. My name is Titi Lyo Oyinson. And I'm Yomi Ope, and I'll move online with us. If you have to go out today, we are at tvcentertainment.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can also send in your comments, contributions, prayer messages, anything you want to send in. Just use that hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Our app is also available uh, for download. And right now you can just search your app store, look for TVC Connect, download it, and you're live. From anywhere in the world, you'll be able to see us, especially since we have such a nice lineup for you. Since it's Friday, it's only right that we kick it off with music. We have an Afrofusion artist, Mortresk song. And then coming up, we'll bring you more music from Afrobeat singer, Lanre Andre. And lastly on the show, we have one of Nigeria's finest comedians and on-air personalities. Ash Bebe will be joining us He's right here for a chat. Because of your work. Like people have been teeth. You didn't die every day, Richard. All right. Yeah. It's going to be a fun Friday, y'all. Yeah, fun yeah. Friday. Sure and of course, know. you know, wait for it. It's game day. There will yes. be games today. Of Not course, to there will be games. At some point. Games. At, At some, some point. point. <laughs> uh, I think we skipped it the last two or three weeks yeah. because uh, yeah. last week we had our Valentine thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the week much, before man. that. Let's not skip The week before day, then, I think. Uh, no, we but had technically we had the games last week because the whole selection Blinded. of yeah. partner state yeah. is, is mm -hmm. technically. I wonder game. how that's going. Mm -hmm. well. Good question. <laughs> week after. We should like, do a like, reality show, follow them around. Yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, no, as serious, long as you're me sponsoring it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Just put them out, find out how they've been doing. Uh, you guys kicking it off? Yeah. Are you kicking it out? Mm. You know, uh, let's know what's up. So, guys, of all Friday, man, February. This January should take a cue from February. No, well, already, what, what's the twentieth? Twenty-first. Yeah, ah? I, mean, <laughs> so, I was somewhere uh, on Wednesday, and as soon as I said the date, <sighs> the person was like, "What? A salary is almost due." <laughs> like, so she's the one paying the salary. So she was like, ah, another salary is almost due. And she looked <laughs> genuinely so, terrified. Uh, so in February, <laughs> just like compensation for how long January was. So maybe that's, that, that's what it is and all that. It's but, possible. But time it's is possible. moving. I mean, I felt I'll start 2020 in February. But as it stands, like I'll start in March. Oh, the way it's going now. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll just, say, we'll just say that our goals now. Let's just do 2021. Because this 2020 is it's, 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 it's looking as, it's, yeah, as it is. that's what you did in 1819, now 20. This vision, 2020, you know. You see, when you have target and you want to start from the beginning, you yeah. can just start in it. <laughs> just start planning for the I'm next year. I'm not sure I can key into what uh, Mike is talking about. But, not yeah. really. Not, not, I'm not, I'm not going to push it far. I'm just going mm. to accept that January and February, I didn't really do that much. I was kind of lazy. I didn't really get much done. I'm going to own it and then pick up from there. Okay. <laughs> you know? Guys, um, I know we'll probably have something really big to talk about um, yeah. during Coffee Gist, mm -hmm. but oh, I must mention this. What? Chloroquine. Just that like it's, no, no, no. It's the big elephant. I'm not going to say the elephant. The big elephant in the room right now Are you okay sure so we yesterday just wait to kitchen to talk we about if we don't finish so it much. we can always go to the kitchen no, but this today. is something that 
I, I, I was on social media yesterday. Right. Just mm. checked out Twitter in the evening. Imagine it had even been trending since morning. Mm. And I just saw chloroquine as cure for coronavirus. I thought it was a joke. Mm. And one thing Twitter has taught me is Google first yeah, <laughs> before yeah, you, you make any statement. Yeah. And then I Googled it, mm. saw some Chinese websites, you know, yeah. the translate. Yeah. I even went as far as looking for a particular Chinese website I know for their news mm. that you just click on translate on mm. Google Chrome. Same thing. And I was like, the what was that stuff they said? The rejected stone. Yeah, <laughs> but there, there have there there has to be a you know a more thorough breakdown of you know the reasons why mm. it's considered one of the three. Mm. Yes, right? one of one the three. Of the three, yes, there are three of them. things that could be a cure for coronavirus. So well, far, you know when people's testing, lives testing. are you know <laughs> when people's lives are in danger, the last thing you want to do mm. is to take forever to find a cure. True. So when something like that has been discovered mm. and it's probably tested on one or two people and it's working, there's a likelihood that more people will be used and they can now fix the side effects as yeah. time goes sure, on. Sure, yeah, sure. but uh, you know, I mean, as as with uh, all things that we hear either yeah. on social media or online, yeah, yeah. We, we need to verify, we of need course. to confirm on yes. Proper verifiable websites. Because so mm, we're, not, we're yeah. not making a, a, an assumption. announcement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. assumption that that. From the day, um, the WHO has been giving daily updates. So mm. they have this uh, set up something like a, a live channel or a TV station. Yeah. So yeah. they're giving live updates on what's yeah. happening. They've not said anything. They've yeah. not said exactly. anything. They, they are the only ones. So yeah. until yeah. WHO, even some other bodies. Exactly. Exactly. WHO says something. Exactly. In uh -huh. any case, uh, you know. Malaria, which chloroquine is known to tackle, mm -hmm. yeah. is a parasite. Yeah, mm. from a, you know plasmodium and all yeah. of that. So that's yeah. a bit different from how a virus functions. Works. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So we need to verify all of that. Now let's also keep in mind that three um, stuff were mentioned. Yeah, yeah. So it's possible that the cure is actually a combination of all three. Yeah. The queen part might just be like yeah. one of the three. It might not be the only one fixing it. Mm. And I, I'm. Well, when you say were mentioned, though, who um, mentioned? It? Yeah, so th there were different websites that came up with different, yeah. you know, but the thing is, we just want the official announcement mm. first. That's the reason why we're not giving, like, no. but I, I, it would be interesting mm. to find out if all those Sunday, Sunday tonic we were taking as children was the reason why the Nigerians there were so not. So you want them in the community inside though. your body? It's still there, there. It's still there. <laughs> there. there. I'm just worried for some people because I know some people, it used to itch them. I didn't yeah. react, but I know some people it used to. We, big we time have, reaction. We are definitely going to mention one or two things later on on this. It's just too much to not talk about, uh, but we have to take the news update now. All right, good morning and thanks for joining in. A great show awaits you right here on Wake Up Nigeria, but right after the news. So we begin with the Lagos House of Assembly, which has commenced a process of amending the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Corps Agency Law 2019 to accommodate a section for a Moteku call. The House took the first and second reading of the bill at plenary on Thursday. The Amotaku call is to take charge of security in borders, forests, highways, nooks and crannies of the state to ensure protection against hoodlums, kidnappers, cattle rustlers and bandits. I would want to suggest the um, board of the Labor, um, Labor Safety Corps should a little bit be expanded that will accommodate maybe some of our traditional rulers. The speaker, without saying, is it not someone that's alive that we would seek other means of advancement, economy, uh, health? Or life comes first, and that's why security is very important. In the other southwest states, this is going to be a new bill which does not have an existing security facility. As um, Honorable Rahim had said now, uh, some of our, some of the new Amotekun Corp section will be bearing some arms. When they kidnap, they don't put the victims around. They usually take them to the neighboring states. And this can bring, when we have sister organizations in other states, it will help in, you know, the communication. They can help us do some investigation in the neighboring states before they can go further down to further down the country. So a bill seeking the establishment of an agency for repentant members of the Boko Haram terrorist group has been introduced in the Senate. The bill is aimed at creating a national agency that would see uh, to the rehabilitation, de-radicalization and integration of repentant insurgents. The bill was sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Gaydam. 
at Thursday's plenary in Abuja. Nigerians have condemned the government's decision to free those uh, former terrorists, saying it undermines the efforts put by the troops battling insurgency. So the All Progressives Congress has filed a motion urging the court to reverse its decision disqualifying its candidate in the last governorship election in Bielsa State. Uh, David Leon, the APC team lead, who won uh, uh, by Wale Olani Pekun uh, with Latif Fagbemi, wants the Supreme Court to set aside what it described as wrong interpretation given as judgment and subsequent execution by the election body. The party argued that the Supreme Court acted without jurisdiction and denied it fair hearing after the Federal High Court in the judgment by Justice Inyang Eko, which uh, the Apex Court affirmed refused uh, the plaintiff's prayer to disqualify Mr. Leon. The party also faltered insurance or issuance of certificate of return uh, to the candidates of the People's Democratic Party. And the All Progressives Congress has filed a motion urging the court to reverse its decision disqualifying its candidate in the last governorship election in Bielsa State, David Leon. The APC team lead by Wale Olani Pekung with Latif Fagbemi wants the Supreme Court uh, to set aside what it described as wrong interpretation given as judgment and subsequent execution by the election body. The party argued that the Supreme Court acted without jurisdiction and denied it fair hearing after the Federal High Court in uh, the judgment by Justice Iyang Eko, in which the Apex Court affirmed refused the plaintiff's prayer uh, to disqualify Mr. Leon. The party also faulted insurance or issuance of certificate of return uh, to the candidates of the People's Democratic Party. Today is the International Mother Language Day. It is observed every year to promote linguistics and cultural diversity and multilingualism. Languages are the most powerful instruments of preserving and developing our heritage, but globalization is increasingly threatening the survival of local languages with uh, some disappearing or already extinct. At least 43% of the estimated 6,000 languages spoken in the world are endangered. Only a few hundred languages have genuinely been given a place in educational system and the public domain, and less than 100 are used in the digital world. The United States District Judge Amy Berman Jackson has sentenced Roger Stone, an advisor and friend to President Trump, to three years and four months in prison for lying to Congress and threatening a witness regarding his efforts for the uh, president's 2016 campaign. Ms. Jackson says uh, she is transferring supervision of his release to Southern District of Florida and determine later whether he will have a re-entry progress hearing. Prosecution initially, or prosecutors initially asked for seven uh, to nine years in prison, but Attorney General William Barr retracted that recommendation hours after President Trump criticized it on Twitter for being too harsh. A jury of nine women and three men convicted Mr. Stone on the 15th of November on charges that stemmed from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation on Russian meddling in the 2016 election. And that's all we have for now. Uh, the show continues with our host and it promises to be exciting. By the way, it's a Friday. Now today is Friday, Friday uh, the 21st of February yeah. and it uh, looks like we're starting with The Guardian. We have the headline. quite a few headlines today. If we start with The Guardian, uh, we start with this one. It says, crisis as stakeholders reject amnesty for repentant Boko Haram terrorists. Senate moves to create agency for insurgents' welfare. Uh, it's impunity taken too far, says Afenifer Ariwa. Youth want sponsor of bill investigated why it is invitation to war by h-u-r-i-w-a story starts uh, right there on the cover so quite a long one uh, goes all the way to page six court jails unilag ex-lecturer 21 years 
for raping admission seeker. UN seeks passage of, uh, of a sexual harassment bill. And uh, it, also sells, uh, it also says here, South, Sudan, South Sudan's Kiel Machara agreed to form unity government, federal government uh, defense troops to counter terrorism and uh, $500 million Chinese loan. That's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Yeah, let's look at the punch. Can BBOG knock Senate on Boko Haram education bill? A federal government trying to make insurgency a lucrative business, Christian Body says. You haven't done enough for insurgency victims, uh, bring back our girls, tell government. Up here, we have a few stories. Uh, depleting ECA signals revenue pressure, says LCCI Institute. And prepare for electricity price hike, TCN tells Nigerians. Flight diversion, British Airways to compensate Nigerian passengers. APC asks Supreme Court to review by also judgment, remove Dewey. And uh, AG, customs CG, clash over 28 billion Naira unremitted funds. And uh, Africa Development Bank to provide $10 billion for Nigerian roads. And a few other stories at the bottom. Uh, you're not qualified to join us, APC tells Fireshare. <laughs> An ex Unilag lecturer jail, jailed 21 years for raping admission seeker. Finally, on the cover of The Punch, Ogun Assembly proposes insurance pension for Amatekun Corps. And that's what we have on the cover of The Punch. I have the Vanguard here now. It says, on insecurity, 10 feared dead in Edo cult killings. Edo state government condemns renewed cult clash. Ninth victim uh, of the Hueru herdsmen attack dies at Del Suth. Uh, tenth victim rushed in for gunshot complications. <clears throat> it also says here, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. NDDC cooperate with forensic auditors. Federal government directs IMC members. Uh, just above the masthead there, federal government secures $1.646 billion to complete Ajaukuta mills. Lagos Assembly moves to legalize Amoteku. Uh, it uh, says uh, holds public hearing Monday. And I'll wrap with this. The same story on most of the papers. Uh, Unilag ex-lecturer jailed 21 years for raping 18-year-old admission seeker. So I read that because of that added uh, information there, an 18-year-old. Mm. Goodness me. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. Right, the Daily mm. Sun's got the headline, Insecurity, Buhari won't resign, says the federal government. And bailouts to governors mean meant to address social menace. Others, says president. And Oshun Oyetola inaugurates committee to review education policy. Anambra bans kid herders, uh, reads riot act to herdsmen. At the bottom here, a few stories. Nation he heading towards anarchy, says Can. Detractors using fake news to fuel insecurity, uh, says the Minister of uh, Information there. An ex-Unilag lecturer jailed 21 years for raping admission seeker. And Bielsa, Wiki adding salt to injury, uh, Governor Silva says, and uh, denies having hand in protest at Justice Odili's home. Finally, on the cover of the Daily Sun, pandemonium as SARS shoot two, abduct three at Ogun Market. That's what we have on the cover of the <coughs> Daily Sun. Okay, I have the Nation newspaper here, and uh, we have quite a bit of time. It says here, amnesty plan for repentant Boko Haram members. Risky, Sage, Emeka Ngige, others caution as Senate debates bill on rehabilitation. It also says here, none of the 280 boys that graduated from the OPSC is recruited into Nigerian military, uh, according to General Shafa. It says, uh, Buhari won't quit over insecurity, according to the government. Minister says, uh, we will regulate social media. Hmm. Moving to the top of the page here now, it says, Unilag lecturer gets 21-year jail term for rape. Gunmen killed two policemen at checkpoint, another injured in attack, and finally, reps seek isolation of colleague, fear over disease. That's what we have on the cover of the nation. Mm. We've got this day here, federal government, Buhari won't resign over security challenges. Uh, poverty alleviation central to protecting families, says president.
APC approaches Supreme Court to review Bielsa judgment. And Governor uh, PDP Falana condemn attack on Justice Audily Oshomole Silva deny involvement. And uh, Mayam Sanda asks appeal court to quash her death sentence. Hmm. And up here, a few stories. Uh, Disco's We Will Stop Takeover by Siemens and cites a legal agreement with federal government. And uh, finally, on the cover of this day, DMO urges states to imbibe debt management strategies. And that's what we have on the cover of this day. I can probably speed through this one. It says, yeah. the Nigerian Tribune uh, says here, Senate may approve agency for repentant Boko Haram members. Bill is for its creation, a bill for its creation passes first reading. Stop providing succor for terrorists, federal government warns Amnesty International. Lagos Assembly to change neighborhood watch to Amotekon. And uh, that's all we have time for, really, on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune. Mm. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break and be back with traffic in Lagos. Thank you for staying tuned. It is time for us to give you updates. That's the Lagos traffic updates so you can get to your destination faster and easier uh, this morning as usual. Now, as always, we encourage that you help other road users by dropping relevant traffic situation reports on all our social media pages using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Now, let's take a look at uh, motorways to Obalende this morning, what the traffic situation is like. As it is, if you're driving, it will take you just about an hour to get to Obalinde all the way from motorways, which is not so bad, especially when you consider what happened just four days ago. That's on Monday when it would have taken uh, at about almost two hours to ply that same route. Okay, so as it is, uh, areas to look out for. Uh, Tollgate isn't so bad, but when you're on the bridge, that's your Jota Bridge, uh, you'd experience a bit of gridlock, okay? But it's only for a short while. Uh, don't you worry. Uh, another red area to look out for is uh, around uh, the Ogudu axis. As you're approaching Ogudu, uh, or rather just after you, you get by, past Ogudu, you would experience a bit of gridlock, okay? But it's for a very short while. Now, note, there are pockets of traffic, especially as you're passing through Bagada and all. So all the way from Tollgate, yes, there are pockets of traffic, but you do just fine, don't, not to worry. Uh, the third mainland bridge. <laughs> It is good this morning, I'll admit. Uh, as it is, you start off really good. Pockets of traffic, mostly freeway. But as soon as you're past uh, the Akoka axis, uh, light traffic begins to build. And just as you get to the Unilag axis of the third mainland bridge, that's where the gridlock starts this morning. So that's why it's not so bad because getting to that axis all the way from motorways isn't uh, too heavy. Uh, then you would experience uh, pockets of uh, light traffic, uh, but mostly gridlock, okay? And that's how it will be until you get to Obali Day. It's only until you're approaching Obali Day itself that the traffic uh, eases out to be a freeway. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have updates for me. Let's hear it. Yeah, I just want to show updates here. I've got a... Uh, uh, right here, um, a traffic butter. Uh, there's a fallen down container by College Bus Stop in Agege and serious congestion. Uh, you know that college bus stop is just one, uh, just that's just the main road that takes you to Iju and and other locations. Uh, if you're going to Abulegba by the left or Ogba by the right, so it's uh, it's pretty bad, especially and, and it's not such a wide road. So you can imagine what happens if if a container falls on that on that road. So that's happening right now. This was five minutes ago. Serious congestion in that area. Please be careful when you go out or. Wait another maybe two hours until it's moved before you move. All right. Mm -hmm. So because if it's already if it's already serious congestion at this time, then you probably don't want to go out mm. right now. That's mm. that's what I've got. Uh, it's the same update about three times that comes up, um, and uh, there's also a message about it's it's interesting uh, because it was not something people used to talk about maybe a year or two ago. But it says here there are no lights on from Eleganza to Aja. Mm. Uh, the road is in total darkness. What happened to the street lights? Mm. Um, 
And that's because, uh, you know, because there are now so many traffic light junctions, mm. it's so important to be able to see along yeah. that Lekia so, Expressway. Yeah, so that's that's, that's yeah. really important. Also, I think there's another, uh, there's an update here also on traffic chief. Uh, broken down container by town planning, uh, uh, oh, wow. town planning way and Tony, inward Jibo. So if you're heading towards... Uh, uh, in what Jibo? Okay, that's strange. Mm, it, well, uh, because, I mean, by the, the, Town Planning Way, it's the, not on Town Planning Way, so it's still on Ikorodu so Road. So by, right? by Town Planning Way, mm -hmm. uh, so just after... After the junction of just Town after, Planning just, Way. Yeah, yeah, so there's, there's, mm -hmm. there's a broken down truck there. Please be mm -hmm. careful mm -hmm. while you're going there. So if, if it's on the service lane, then it's better than if it's, if it's on the highway. Mm -hmm. But uh, so those are the two main, uh, main updates we have. All right, yeah. thank you yeah. so much for that, um, Titi and Yummy. Uh, moving on, uh, I took a quick look at uh, Festac access. Uh, it, the map keeps saying you should pass through Ikotu if you want to go to Oshodi uh, from Yanoba. So it does seem like that might be the fastest route this morning for you. However, I went through Festac to connect straight to Oshodi and it will take you about an hour if you're using that distance. But if you want to go through the Yanoba road access through Ikotun to get to Oshodi. It will take you just about an hour as well. So it depends on where you're coming from. Uh, from the Yanoba access to uh, the Festac access, uh, there seems to be a bit of gridlock there. So you might want to consider the alternative routes, all right? And uh, then taking a look at uh, Ileko bus stop, heading to Mushi bus stop. Uh, it will take you just about 55 minutes to get to Mushi uh, from uh, Ileko bus stop this morning. Uh, so let me just quickly take it a bit back, okay? Uh, from Abuliegba, it will take you an hour, five minutes though. Uh, so areas to look out for. Uh, you need to uh, be very careful when you are around Yanopaja. That's where the first traffic gridlock is. After Yanopaja, Dokoimu again has some gridlock. Uh, just after cement, there's gridlock uh, approaching Idimangoro. So that's another area to look out for. And the biggest one is around Ilezik. Okay, that's where the biggest gridlock is. It will take you through Ikeja, along through National, until you're close to the bridge, after which is mostly a freeway. Oshodi, as usual, is just the arena. I'm sure you'll do just fine. The most important thing, as usual, is to have consideration for other road users, be at alert, and be very patient, okay? Patience helps a great deal. I'll be joining the guys in the kitchen right now. <laughs> hmm. Yes, um, the pink is making it hard for me to concentrate on the traffic today, Mary. <laughs> the pink is just so pink, Mary. It's not usual for Mary to wear pink, you know, so it's just so bright and colorful. Um, so I wanted to mention this t-shirt I'm wearing. Right. Yeah, one of the movies that Mike is going to be talking about. Now this particular image is of two people from the movie mm. and I was compelled to wear this t-shirt today. Why? Because you're going to be talking about the movie. That's all. Why do you make t-shirts? So in the movie, uh, so it's a, a movie called Queen and Slim. And yeah, there's no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. And the picture was just such a big part of the movie. Oh, That's yeah. all I'm going to say. And I'm wearing it. So why do you decide to wear it? I, I was You like the movie? I was moved. So I didn't just like the movie. I feel like going to watch it again like three times. Then so having a private screening on Saturday. Having uh, No, 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 actually just, oh, you, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. I didn't go for the private screening. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. how big it was going to be. Oh, how yeah. good the movie was going to be. But that's uh, Daniel Kaluuya and uh, who's, the, who's the lady? Uh, so the lady is um, new on the scene. Okay. I'll confirm her full mm. name. But one thing I noted was that it was, in my opinion, not a very high budget movie. But it is making a statement that is going to ring for a while. Mm. Don't worry. When you watch it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, for me, oh, it's Sugar Rush anytime, any day. But I, guess <laughs> I watched Sugar Rush and I was yeah. impressed. I still think, uh, what's his name now? Uh, Addis Wa's husband. Uh, Why is ooh, it weird now? Banking. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I still think <laughs> his role, he shouldn't have taken it. But let's move away from that. So you look like a sugar rush with, today. With his brown, with his brown beard. <laughs> with the brown, oh, you've watched it, right? Very annoying. Like, oh, he, wow. he just didn't really hit me. Like, if it was maybe it, it, like it a reminisce, thank you. It if it was a reminisce, yeah. I'd be like, okay. But it was just, I don't know. It just I haven't watched it. Look, if you take on a role, I mean... Are you uh, taking on anything on TV is, is challenging. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when maybe you take on a, a new hosting gig, 
and maybe there was somebody else who had that hosting gig before and mm. then everybody's making that comparison and yeah. it's tough you know when yeah. you go online and you're seeing people yeah, are people, saying yeah. bring back tt <laughs> <laughs> wow I, was like, well, I don't understand <laughs> i'm your new host you know yeah. but so yeah that, so that happens uh, that happens a lot so even with even with uh, if they change Batman or they change Superman, yeah, yeah. it's some hard. People, some people hate the new Batman. Yeah. Some people some, like the old one. Some people hate the new, the, the new James people. Bond or yeah. something. You know, when they change James Bond, it's like so. You can imagine anyone who's going to be taking over from Daniel Craig. It's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be tough. It's, yeah. it's going to be more than tough. It's going to be like almost impossible. <laughs> well, you, well you do know it's a female, uh, a black female that is taking over that particular. Oh, come um, on. Yeah. Don't say it. No. Don't say it. She's Maybe. not the new Bond. Yeah, but, but she's more or less taking over his role. Like, yeah. how do I put it? Yeah. Like, what Bond used to do mm. as a as an officer. Now I know that. Okay, so you're talking about the 007. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking about the fact that uh, when there are opportunities for people to step into people's shoes, mm. I feel like we should embrace the younger or well, the younger whoever is, they, yeah, embrace right. them because it's not easy <laughs> it's hard so, it's, not, yeah, it's, so, it's, almost, it's almost like everything um everyone has ever done is up to you to prove that you can do it exactly. so exactly. you don't uh, you don't you don't yeah. expect goodwill or bad will as it were come out let's see for 007 i must say that we've had very iconic actors play the 007 yeah. role and almost all of them have been accepted because you yeah. know one person can play it all exactly i mean when you think about from um uh, Sean Connery, Sean Connery oh. who was like the quintessential James Bond. Yep. And then you had Timothy Dalton, you had Roger Moore, mm. you had P.S. Brosnan. Yeah. Yeah. Lazenby didn't play so, uh, so long, just about mm. a movie or two, yeah. you know, you're all of that. And then up on Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig was derided at the beginning because he brought a different well, feel. Yes. You know, well, James yes. Bond is the suave, yeah. debonair, cool mm. guy. But Daniel Craig was <laughs> muscular, is very rough, like, yeah. oh, but he did three, four, five, oh, I'm mean, feeling this guy, you know. Exactly. Like, that, you know, look, you know, that, that's just like, I'm know, feeling this guy. A friend of mine, a friend of mine got a role on a big show, mm. and, you know, he said it went online, and, you know, the reviews were terrible. <laughs> they were like, this guy should not be presenting, yeah. and, you know, so I called him, you know, I was like, I saw you on TV, man, not bad, not bad. He was not bad, Abby, not bad, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell you needed that he needed it. <laughs> you know, so, so I'll just say to you that I don't worry about it. They will love you eventually, yeah. you know. The, do a few more shows. Yeah. That's it. By week five, you know. I wanted, to, yeah. I wanted to jump back to the James Bond thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a lot of people didn't realize that from the books, the actual books, mm. right, James Bond was more gruff and rough and tough. Yeah. But the movie industry decided to, to paint to him, make, yeah, yeah, to paint him very playboy, also, suave, yeah. and you know. Yeah. But the real James Bond is like a Daniel Craig. Yes, actually, Daniel Craig did yeah. the best interpretation of yeah. this. I think the, the previous movie they were getting were more just very well, I don't ladies, know, men, I would and all. <laughs> Because they wanted to, those yeah. ones they got, wanted, that was what they wanted to put out. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That so he, I, I mentioned the fact that it was the best representation mm. of the book, mm. not of whoever wrote the script. The script is always different. It's still, it's still the subjective. Book. Everybody will, we everybody have will to, see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we have to take a quick break, though, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Yeah. Stay with us. Alright, so if you see your favorite celebrity at the airport, just wave. <laughs> really? Just, you know, do a you know, thumbs, thumbs up, up. You know, or just, you know, yeah. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in most corporate <laughs> workplaces, employ employees are not expected to turn up uh, looking, you know, well, like a three-piece suit or anything Boy. like that. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, so mm -hmm. you want people to come in and something casual. Yeah. Usually, so, usually, usually. Yeah. yeah. So jeans, a t-shirt, you know, kind of like what yeah, I'm wearing. Now. Like that, yeah. yeah. This is what we call Fun Friday gear in mm. TVC. So hey, uh, let's get set to play. Let's get set to have some fun. And uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit of that today. So you need to stay with us. Yeah, the first hour is going by. I have another mm. hour, 45 minutes left this morning. 
My name is Titilaya Oyinso. And I'm Yomi Okwe. Don't forget, we're streaming live. And the website is tvcentertainment.tv. We're also on Facebook at TVC Connect. You can also send in those comments as soon as you can with the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Use that app as quickly as you can. Download it from the iOS or Android store right now mm. so you can watch us from anywhere in the world. Yeah, so we're going to be having good food as usual. It's a breakfast show, so yeah, something's happening in the kitchen. Mm. And Mary's holding forth for me. Yeah, I'm going to be joining her later on. All right. Okay, I've got Chef Benjamin Oni right here. He's today's chef and he's going to be preparing something really fantastic. Uh, Yomi, luckily for me, I don't have to do any work today. It's your turn. It's going to be a guy thing in the kitchen. So yeah. You come over to take over. Mm. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Uh, but great to have you here, Chef Benjamin. Oh, it's my pleasure. Great to have you here. All right. Looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. And you know what they say about new chefs, Yomi? Yes. That's yeah. why it's Yomi in the kitchen. So looking, forward, looking yes. forward to it. We're going yes. to see what's going to happen. Uh, what's going to lay out for us today. In terms of music, we have Afrobeat artist Lanre Andre. And he's going to be joining us shortly for our first music. And lastly, we have one of Nigeria's finest mm. comedians. Yeah, he's coming on the show, joining us. Osh Bebe is joining us. Uh, yeah, dad, talk about so something that's happening pretty soon. Your dad is the Ghanaian president. Yeah, president, dad, dad. Head of the country of Ghana, my father. So people that go up on social media and say, or any me and say, I hurt you. What's their problem? What's hurt you? Hurt you. Uh, I love you now. What's the word that says, I hurt you? I they are giving their heart uh, to yeah, you. It's not an emoji. Is like, they right? actually write, I hurt you. you. Uh, they're replacing <laughs> What's their problem? <laughs> I'm not understanding. Or somebody just goes and sends you a message and says, good PM. Good PM. Uh, good evening. You know, I, I, I think good over am. abbreviation are sticking over. You know, there's yeah. abbreviation, then there's over abbreviation. No, like, but hurt. If someone wants to wish you a happy birthday, for goodness sake, just say happy birthday. Which one is HBD, LL? No, those ones are okay. That, one, that HBD is <laughs> okay. Heart is five. Love is four. <laughs> They say happy birthday. They say happy womb escape. A womb escape. Wow. But the one I always remember. No, how, how does I? That, so I just saw that. I, I just saw that. Someone was sending a message to her sister. Says I hurt you very much. Uh, like she was using full, so full good English. Say happy birthday, my dear sister. I hurt you very much. I don't know. I People are just taking it. They're yeah, taking so it too far. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe the Urban Dictionary has uh, you can now interchange <laughs> heart and love. They are now interchangeable words. You can use them mm. in case of the other. Maybe some you know Urban Dictionary things come out. Yeah, there was a time I think it was two weeks ago when uh, lots of people were were talking about um, how their parents used the wrong emojis. <laughs> to, you know, like you know how parents just uh, you start using WhatsApp and then they just send you the wrong emoji about something. And you don't have to explain to your mother that, mommy, you are not supposed to use this emoji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this like, is what it means. Guys, instead of this, I saw that one on Twitter. Yeah, the mom wanted to use this for kill off boy, and then used you know <laughs> the other one. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. Really. I almost did. <laughs> But we have to take the news update now. Your name is on standby. Yes. All right, thanks for joining in. So this is how we start. Um, Lagos House of Assembly, which has commenced a process of amending the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Corps Agency Law 2019 to accommodate a section of, uh, for Amoteku Corps. Now, the House took the first and second reading of the bill at plenary on Thursday. The Amoteku Corps is to take charge of security in borders, forests, highways, nooks and crannies of the state to ensure protection against hoodlums, kidnappers, cattle rustlers and bandits. A bill seeking the establishment of an agency uh, for repentant members of the Boko Haram terrorist group has been introduced in the Senate. The bill is aimed at creating a national agency that would see to the rehabilitation, de-radicalization and integration of repentant insurgents. The bill was sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Gaydam at Thursday's plenary in Abuja. Nigerians have condemned the government's decision to free these former terrorists, saying it undermines the efforts put in by the troops battling insurgency. Now, the All Progressives Congress has filed a motion urging the court to reverse its decision, disqualifying its candidates in the last governorship elections in Bielsa State, David Leon. Um, the APC team lead by Wale 
Orlani Pekun, uh, with Latif Fakbami, wants uh, the Supreme Court to set aside what it describes as wrong interpretation given as judgment and subsequent execution by the election body. The party argued that the Supreme Court acted without jurisdiction and denied it fair hearing after the Federal High Court in uh, the judgment by Justice Iyang Eko, which uh, the Apex Court affirmed refused uh, the plaintiff's prayer to disqualify Mr. Leon. The party also faltered in issuance of certificates of return to the candidates of the People's Democratic Party. Now today is the International Mother Language Day. It is observed every year to promote linguistics and cultural diversity and multilingualism. Languages are the most powerful instruments for preserving and developing our heritage. But globalization is increasingly threatening the survival of local languages, with some disappearing or almost extinct. At least 43% of the estimated 6,000 languages spoken in the world are endangered. Only a few hundred languages have genuinely been given a place in educational system and the public domain, and less than 100 are used in the digital world. The United States District Judge Amy Berman Jackson has sentenced Roger Stone, an advisor and friend to President Trump, to three years and four months in prison for lying to Congress and threatening a witness uh, regarding his efforts for the president's 2016 campaign. Ms. Jackson says uh, she is transferring supervision of his release to Southern District of Florida and determine whether uh, or later whether he will have a, a re-entry process hearing or progress hearing. Prosecutors initially asked for seven to nine years in prison, but Attorney General William Barr reacted or retracted that recommendation hours after President Trump criticized it on Twitter for being too harsh. A jury of nine women and three men convicted Mr. Stone on the 15th of November on charges that stemmed from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation on Russian meddling in 2016 election. And that's the news for now. The show continues. I'm looking forward to the men in the kitchen because when they are there, magic happens. Well, people, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, Tony uh, getting his groove on there in the garden. Very nice. Anyway, we have uh, Chef Benjamin in the building today. How are you doing, Chef? Very well, thank nice you. Nice one, nice one. So um, something really special, something I'm excited about that you're making this morning. Ewa. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. And, of course, you can see everything on your screen right there. And uh, so talk to us about what you're making today. Okay. And, uh, no, first tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Chef Benjamin? Okay, uh, my name is Benjamin Oni. Yeah. I have my background in law, so I'm basically so a lawyer. So you're a lawyer? Wow, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I am a lawyer, I yeah. mean, but I didn't go to law school because yeah. I, I changed my path. Okay, you changed your path okay. and then so, you focus uh, on this. Cooking yeah. is something I fell in love with. Let me just turn uh, this off, looks like okay. it's uh, causing a bit of, okay, yeah. So, yeah, go so ahead. cooking is something I fell in love with because of my mom. She used to run a restaurant, so I felt oh, that was how I developed the interest okay. for cooking. Nice, so uh, nice. while I was in the university, I had to do something to survive, yeah. and I turned to cooking. So after university, and I that like, law thing, it didn't uh, feel like it was working. So I mean, so let's this was, the past. This was it. Okay, so yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, so something special this morning. Okay. And uh, so tell us what you're going to be making uh, so that we'll start with the process and uh, the first thing. Okay, so basically I'm doing yeah. an Afrofusion. So Afrofusion simply means, uh, because I believe so much in Nigerian cuisine and mm -hmm. the opportunity that lies outside the country. Yeah. So I'm going to be transforming some of our uh, staples to something um, that is intercontinental what what very nice so very uh, nice. basically what I'm so doing which is why we have all these fancy yes. leagues here because Definitely. I don't think we're going straight now <laughs> right? you know Definitely. everybody knows what it is right? yeah so but tell us about the ingredients and then uh, so we'll just go step by step and then okay so, that so our, uh, our viewers can also follow us yeah on, on definitely. Our so I have uh, already cooked beans here yeah so the process is that it's going to be formed into a balls it's going to be rolled into uh, a mix I've already prepared so, so it, what's this mix here so it's comprised of breadcrumbs a little flour Breadcrumbs flour. Yeah. That's what we have yeah, on this side. Yeah, and some seasoning. Right. I don't yeah. know if the camera can pick it. So this is bread, uh, yeah. breadcrumbs, flour, and seasoning. Yeah, this basically. One. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, of course, is eggs. Egg, definitely. Uh, so we're just going to beat that yeah, a little, little bit then. more. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, so I have rosemary here. Rosemary. You could either use rosemary or thyme. It's a fresh oh, herb. It smells nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. And I have, of course, garlic. Garlic is very essential to me. 
garlic essential. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I, I drew, I'm, <laughs> I'm curious to see how you're going to mix yeah. all these things together. Yeah, and over here we have what? We have edible greens, which I'm going to use for garnish. Edible greens. Yes. For garnish. And then this one as well. For uh, so garnish. this is a micro uh, purple basil. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, so okay. it's edible. Okay. Uh, for beauty, for aesthetics and all. All right. That. Okay. So we've got uh, curry here. No, it's a secret spice. Secret spice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, and over here, uh, olive oil, olive oil, and, and of course, of course sir. salt. And uh, I'm going to be salt filleting a fish, uh, mackerel. Okay, so you're going to be filleting the mackerel. Yeah. So, so what, what does it mean to fillet? Okay, fillet so uh, fillet simply means to cut through and uh, remove the bones. So what fish you're going to eat in today is without bone. Okay, so basically we're going to yes. be removing the bones. Yes, we're going to be removing the bones. Okay. That's like the layman's uh, language. Layman's language. Yeah. Okay, but in the kitchen we call it the fish fillet. fillet. Yeah, fish that's fillet. fillet. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, yeah. that's what we're going to be doing here today. And it looks pretty straightforward. And so what's the first thing we're going to be starting with? Okay, so... Let me help you yeah. uh, start powering this thing. So, so I, I forgot to add, I made uh, rodo jam. So rodo to, jam, what yeah. does that mean? So um, there are different types of jam that you have. You have strawberry jam, you have cranberry jams and yeah. all that. So I made a typical rodo jam. Rodo? So, so, yeah, atarodo, I mean the regular so rodo that we have. So jam from atarodo. So it doesn't yes. mean that it's atarodo and sugar. Atarodo, sugar, pectin, um, uh, cider vinegar, wow. and a little salt. Yeah. That's amazing. And I also made a special agoyin sauce, which... So, can you put rodo jam in bread? Yeah, definitely, of course. Wouldn't it be peppers? Like no, no. I, I try to reduce the, the level not to be too spicy by adding uh, chili pepper. That's the regular... I want to uh, taste that rodo jam. <laughs> of course. So jam made out of atarodo. Atarodo. Because I've heard of strawberry jam. I've heard of orange yeah. marmalade and yeah. all of that. But now you're talking about rodo jam. Rodo jam. Who wants to taste rodo jam with me here? I'm seeing GOC. There's somebody, yeah. <laughs> he, rodo jam. Uh, we need some bread. We need to get some yeah. bread and then have, have our rodo jam. Anyway, so uh, I'm already powering up this. Uh, yeah. So what's the first thing we're going to do once this okay, so oil we're, is hot? We're going to let this out. Then uh, we're going to just eat this up a little bit. Eat this up a little bit. So yes. let me help you warm that up. Okay, uh, so while there. I'm doing that, then I have to fillet the fish. Yeah. And then we're eating up the sauce. The, that's the rotor jam. Yes, okay. and uh, we need to turn up the oven now. Yeah, so I'm going to also turn on the oven for you as well. Yes. And uh, while that, all of that is going on, we're going to be taking a break. But uh, that rodo jam, once it gets ready, he's going to also be telling us yeah. how he made the rodo jam. Definitely. How all of that came together. Yeah. And you know, it's just going to be a special meal today. It's just a bit different. Uh, African meals with a twist. He calls it Afrofusion. Afro -fusion. That's Chef Benjamin, Benjamin, the one and only. We'll be right back. All right, so welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, things are happening here. The one and only Chef Benjamin yeah. uh, join me, joining me right here in the kitchen. We're trying to uh, just make sure that everything is uh, everything takes shape. But earlier on, we talked about what we we're going to do with this Ewa going. Okay. And it's a special one. You said it's, it's, a, it's an Afrofusion. Yeah, definitely. But there's something that you mentioned which made everybody very, very curious okay. uh, earlier on, which is uh, your... Your other job. The rodo jam. So this yeah. is jam. I don't know if the camera can see it. This is jam made with rodo. Yeah. Can, the, can the camera just show me how this works? So, and you said that this is not too hot. Yeah, definitely. You could have a taste of it. Okay, so let me just have a taste yeah, of sure. this rodo jam right here. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Very I can nice. Feel the acidity. In it. Oh yeah, I can feel the acidity. And it's got this, you know, yeah, it just wakes up your, 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 your taste buds, Definitely. like all over the place, all over my mouth. Very nice. Anyway, so let's go straight to what we're talking about. So you rolled up one of the, um, the, the beans that you yes. already cooked, right? And here, one of the ingredients that you have here is breadcrumbs. A little bit of flour. A little bit of flour and, and some, seasoning, some yeah. seasoning. Yeah. And so tell us what you're going to be doing with that. Okay, so uh, you just want to form this into a ball. Yeah. Then it goes into the egg. It's so this is beans rolled up into a ball going, yes, into, going into, the egg. into the eggs, right? Yeah, okay. so you want to coat it with this mixture. Mm. Just coat it slightly. Uh, if you don't eat flour, you could just do with uh, breadcrumbs. Just crumbs. the crumbs, just the yeah, crumbs instead bread of... Crumbs uh, is fine. Okay, yeah. so just one second. I just want to power up this oil, heat it up a little bit. Yeah. 
then you so won't basically so yeah so the, you're going to throw that in there into the just oil to fry, okay. yeah just to fry yeah. you want to ensure that the oil is not so hot not too hot just about 150 degree so just like that yeah just like that so, so that everything reduce. can uh, cook evenly you don't want it to burn right right okay so you're going to do another one with that yes so well. so tell okay. us also what you did with the fish okay so what i did with the fish the fish has been filleted yeah. uh, i've removed the bone so this has uh, practically no bone uh, so I just cut them into two. So what I'm going to do next is to season with just salt yeah. and uh, this secret spice, and then it goes to be pan seared. Okay, so, so you're, pan going season, yeah. you're going to season the, the fish yes. uh, with uh, Some a little salt. bit of spice just and salt and all of that. Okay. Just a little bit of salt. So uh, something I'm also going to add to the fish while I'm cooking, it's called a compound butter. So, okay. so compound butter is basically... Uh, the cooking butter mm. and some spices. So uh, you could do without um, those spices. Mm. So for this one, I have a little bit of sugar, a little bit of um, orange juice. So orange juice, sugar, yeah. butter. Yeah, and butter. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So um, and also, if you don't eat any of those things, you could just do it alone with butter, but just for more flavor and mm. more sweetness to it. Yeah. So that, that's why I added that's those things. What you mean. So at what point are we gonna? Okay. So this is frying already over yeah. here. Uh, how long are we going to leave it on the... Uh, we're just going to leave that for like 10, 15 minutes. Ten, nine, nine, three Maybe minutes, five, then. Okay, like three minutes. Yes. Okay, are we going to make any more any more of these... Uh, any more of this... Uh, I think that would do for one balls. portion. Yeah, we okay, could so do that. for one portion. Yeah. Right. So everything is taking shape here already. Definitely. So you're spicing. So all the bones... So we filleted the fish, yeah. right? And all the bones are taken out. And then you're going to pan sear it. Yeah, I'm going to pan sear it. Pan sear mm. is the cooking method. It's a different kind of cooking. It's a different kind of cooking. So I'm curious about what you did over here. Okay, this, so uh, uh, this is the bro. sauce that I made earlier. So what yeah. I did to the sauce, one thing that's unique about the sauce is that the sauce has the bean paste mm. in it. Because for plating sake, you need, I need something that is very smooth mm -hmm. as well and something that has the natural taste of the beans right. in it. So I had a little paste, uh, bean paste mm. into the sauce. So that's why you, you see it have this... Uh, Consistency. Oh right. Okay. So that's what it is. Yes. I've always wondered what that was. So a little bit of that of the beans, paste beans, from the beans. Yes. Uh, paste from the beans goes yeah, into, so, into that. So that's why you have this mm. um, consistency. All right. So we're just going to turn this so that uh, so it doesn't burn. So it's so it's even. Yeah. So what right, you're so looking for is a golden brown this color. Gold brown. Okay. Yes. So while that is going on, I'm just going to take you over the ingredients once again so that you can see everything that we're doing here and also be able to uh, try and follow us. Uh, so the ingredients are not that many, but you know. Um, Technicality. <laughs> salt, eggs, oil for frying, honey beans, and breadcrumbs. And of course, uh, we have all these other fancy things over here as well. Uh, with the, okay, yeah, so we're, we have rodo, onions, crayfish, uh, palm oil, crayfish if you want, right? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, yeah. You, you, but we don't have crayfish here today. Uh, palm oil, mashed beans, uh, and of course, um, his secret spice. We Chef. have garlic, butter, olive oil, mackerel, fresh thyme. So if you don't have mackerel, what do you use? Uh, you could use any other fish. You could use croaker, you could use grupa, you could use any other. But I, I call this Uncle Titus because something that we're all uh, familiar, familiar with. Familiar with, yeah, yeah. something that we Welcome all know. To the market, you find yeah, it. So there. the yeah. idea is to do something that people can relate with right, easily. Yeah. Right, right, right. You're a cool dude. You're a cool dude. Very nice. So uh, this is getting that golden brown color yeah. that you talked about earlier. And uh, once we're once we're done with that, we will. Are we going to be making more more of these? Uh, this would do for one portion. Just okay. So this would do for one portion. But yeah. what else are we going to be putting? So, in? So uh, the next thing that's coming in here is the pan seared uh, croaker. So we're just. And you're going to pan sear with the olive oil as well. Yes, I'm going to pan sear with the olive oil, and towards the latter end, I'm going to add. Um, uh, some of the spices. I'm going to add the rosemary for flavor, okay. and I'm going to add the garlic as well. Okay. So this is ready. Yes, it's ready to go. Very nice. Very Can nice. you turn this? Let me just help you with the yeah. with the olive oil in there. Can you turn this on? Yeah, you could add a little more. A little more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. So uh, all right. So while we're getting uh, ready for this pan to heat up a little bit, so we can pan sear the. Yeah. Uh, spiced uh, macro fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be heading over to the couch where Mary is on standby with two special guests for us this morning. Thank you, Yobi. Uh, whatever it is that is being made in the kitchen, which has something to do with our going, is really 
playing, or should I say wreaking havoc on our noses here. But it's all right, we'll be fine. Uh, we want to talk about something really interesting. I've got uh, two folks here with me, John Ibonu and of course uh, Oscar. We so great to have good you morning. in the How studio. Are you? Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> all right, good morning. So um, what you guys are about to tell me is something that naturally I thought it was going to be Mike because I know he's tech crazy, but something big is coming to the tech industry in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and that's the Gage Awards. Tell me about it. Uh, so the Gage Award is here to set a standard. It's a digital award that um, celebrates individuals, brands that have done well in the digital space. So we're here to set a standard for growth in the digital space. You agree with me that a lot of innovations have been happening recently here and there. So Gage Award is here to set that standard for people that have run, done really well in digital space. Okay. And talking about the digital space, I know for sure that you're also involved in digital space. Is that yeah. probably why you're hosting the event? Uh, no, it's just the money. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the honesty. Uh, first of all, big big shout out to John. This is our first time on TV. Oh, uh, so wow. thank you. She's she's shy. She's a natural. <laughs> she's a shy natural, which is weird. But it's, that's it's, all right. It's, it's good. So um, basically, I, I believe the organizers uh, have or saw something in me in terms of of the interest. Uh, myself and my my co-host, who's not here, Tomika. Uh, she's on set. She, she makes more money than I do. Of course. So um, <laughs> we're going to be uh, hosting the awards uh, tomorrow okay. uh, at a hotel. And it's, I think it's, one would like to call it like the Oscars of the digital space, mm -hmm. where they are recognizing the contribution of, of that sector. Uh, as you are aware, you know that everybody has a mobile device, which basically means that 99.9% .9 of the times you are in your phone or doing something online. So um, they came up with about 22 categories, and you have things like Bank App of the Year, Comedian, Online Comedian of the Year, various wow. um, categories, and people have been nominating over the last couple of weeks. So we're going to unveil uh, the winners uh, ah. tomorrow, and I, I'm personally excited because this is the maiden edition, and it's a great honor. Uh, to, to, to be part of this and to host this. So how are you guys able to come up with the categories? Because I know one of the hardest things when coming up with an award ceremony is either minimizing <laughs> or maximizing <laughs> the categories. Uh, so tell me about So we this. thought about the five areas that impact people's lives daily. So we thought um, innovation, peop there are a lot of things coming up recently. We have inspiration. Um, you're inspired by stuff on the web every day, things that you look at. There's entertainment, of course, and there's commerce. You do business on the web, of course, yeah. and information. So these five areas, um, we thought about all of that, and we decided to devise ways to bring out the categories from this. Okay, yeah. so all together, 22 categories. Yes, 22. Now, Oscar has been going on about tomorrow, tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow can be any day uh, when? <laughs> so you tell me more about when it's taking place where it's taking place give me all of that oh it's on 2nd of february which is tomorrow we're excited <laughs> um because we've really done a lot to put this together um it's at echo hotel and suits victoria island the blue carpet is for 6 p.m the award is for 8 p.m Okay. And then we have an after party afterwards. Oh, so it's a Yay. blue carpet. Is there a reason for the blue carpet? Because Gage Awards, our brand is blue, oh. blue and white. Okay. It's just a coincidence I'm wearing a blue jacket. So uh, oh, true. And she's wearing blue jeans. <laughs> just wanted to point that We're out. We're representing the brand. <laughs> 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 All right, then. Uh, how, how can I be a part of this? Is it open to the public? Um, it's a private event, but you oh, can okay. get tickets on our website, gageawards.com. Okay, so it's it's really easy to get that done. Mm -hmm, of course. Okay, so what 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 should people expect from this? Because sometimes we have award ceremonies that last just but once, mm -hmm. and afterwards it's gone. Is this supposed to be a continuous thing, oh, or yes. is it every other year? Yes, it's supposed to be a continuous thing. After this, we'll be unveiling Gage Room. Um, check out our social media handles for that: Gage Awards, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram. Okay. So yeah, but it's supposed to be a continuous thing. It's supposed to be continuous. So what should people be expecting from this? At the award event. Yeah. Oh, we have a lot of people coming in. The NCC chairman will be at the event. The EVC of the EVC of NCC, the Commissioner of Science and Tech will be at the event. Of course, we have our host, mm -hmm. Oscar. We have Tommy Care. Have to be there. We have Johnny Drew. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, the Johnny Drew. <laughs> yes, too. music. I'll, I'll be singing as as well. The after party, you'll be connecting with. You know what? It's just frightening me off. Uh, it's, <laughs> I can't imagine what. Oh, you missed what he said. I'll, tell I'll be you. singing too. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Please, we need to be safe. All right, then. It's the end of the second hour on Wake Up Nigeria today. We still have 45 minutes left to go. Stay with us, we have more.
Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the third hour of the show. You know, Fridays on Wake Up Nigeria always come with something extra special. Yeah. We've had some great music, movies, sports, and even more is yeah. still coming up. You mm -hmm. know, and I've also been in the kitchen, which means that the kitchen is also pretty special mm -hmm. uh, this morning. Mm. We, we were, we were um, pan searing fish. Yeah. And then we'll put some, uh, some butter in there. Yeah. A My little bit of likes. sugar. Okay, okay. And spice. Okay. So, yeah, it, it's a different kind of taste. Mm. You know, that. And it smells the, the fish itself had a little bit of lemon in it as well. So, hey. Omo, you're going to be showcasing your skills at a home. A lot of work day. going into <laughs> that kitchen this morning. And so, yeah, you need to stick around for the final output yeah. that we're going to have for you. And of course, today is game day. And we have a special game coming up later today. Believe it or not, we're playing musical chairs. Mm. Mm, that should be interesting. And of course, there's still quite a lot more coming up in the next 45 minutes. Yeah, so make sure that you stick around to the very end. My mm. name is Titi Lyra Oyinso. And I'm Yomi Hope. We get online right now. We're streaming live at TVC and TV and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Send in those comments, contributions. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. And use our mobile app available for download at the Android and iOS store. Mm -hmm. now, of course, the app allows you to watch us from anywhere you are in the globe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just this galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> we are, you know, the number one show in Nigeria, and that's why we have people like the number one, uh, well, one of the number, well, one of the finest comedians yeah. in, in the industry. Osh Bebe is gonna be here soon. What do you do? You know, say, you get the way you go bongo. Because of your work. Like people have been thief. You didn't die for every day, rich and rich. Okay. You know, stand up, yeah. Okay. I was going to say, stand up comedy is like one of the most difficult jobs <laughs> in the world. <laughs> because, I mean, you get up there, you never know what to expect. Yeah. And you just hope that people laugh. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. Like anybody that wants to do that kind of work, <laughs> it works. comes up to you. Right? Indeed. Okay, so, so um, I was actually going to talk about the fact that uh, besides being Sticky Bun Day and this week being Take Your Family to School Week, mm. today is International Mother Language Day. Okay. And it, it's something that has been going on for years. People say, oh, uh, many Nigerians are like, abandoning their local language. Mm and all mm. of that. So mm. I, I don't know, mm. what, what's your take on that? Uh, at least have the basics, you know, you know, the basic greetings, you know, the basic salutations for celebrations, you know, at least make sure you can key into all of that so mm. that you can be, you know, make sure you don't lose it completely. Yeah. I'm not really the best person to, uh, you know, <laughs> speak my mother tongue, but I'm trying. I try mother, once in a while. Mother tongue or not, the, yes. the main thing is communication. Yes. yes. I can communicate with you. Mm. That's it. Important. Anyway, we have to head on over to uh, Onimisi Adaba, who I know can speak his language mm -hmm. uh, for the news. <laughs> yes, what do you want me to say in my language? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. In my language, it's Nyena. All right. Nice <laughs> so wow. let's carry on with the news. Um, in Lagos, the House of Assembly has commenced a process of amending the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Corps Agency Law 2019 to accommodate a section for Amoteco Corps. Now, the House took uh, the first and second reading of the bill at plenary on Thursday. The Amoteco Corps is to take charge of security in borders, forests, highways, nooks, and crannies of the state to ensure protection against hoodlums, kidnappers, cattle rustlers, and bandits. A bill seeking the establishment of an agency for repentant members of the Boko Haram terrorist group has been introduced in the Senate. Now, the bill is aimed at creating a national agency that will see to the rehabilitation, de-radicalization and integration of repentant insurgents. The bill was sponsored by Senator Ibrahim Gaydam at Thursday's plenary in Abuja. Nigerians have condemned government's decision to free these former terrorists, saying it undermines the effort put by the troops battling insurgency. And the All Progressives Congress has filed a motion urging the court to reverse its decision disqualifying its candidates in the last governorship elections in Bielsa State, David Leon. Now the APC team lead by, um, it was led by Wali Olani Pekung and Latif Fakwemi and wants the Supreme Court to set aside what it describes as wrong interpretation given as 
uh, judgment and subsequent execution by the election body. The party argued that the Supreme Court acted without jurisdiction and denied it fair hearing after the Federal High Court in um, the judgment by Justice Inyang Eko, which the Apex Court affirmed refused the plaintiff's uh, prayer to disqualify Mr. Leon. The party also faulted issuance of certificate of return to the candidates of the PDP, that's the People's Democratic Party. Now today is the International Mother Language Day. It is observed every year to promote linguistics and cultural diversity and multilingualism. Uh, languages are the most powerful instruments of uh, preserving and developing our heritage, but globalization is increasingly threatening the survival of local languages with some disappearing or already extinct, at least 43% of the estimated 6,000 languages spoken in the world are endangered. Only a few hundred languages have genuinely been given place in educational systems and the public domain, and less than 100 are used in the digital world. The United States District Judge, Amy uh, Berman Jackson, has sentenced Roger Stone, an advisor and friend to President Trump, to three years and four months in prison for lying to Congress and threatening a witness regarding his efforts for the president's 2016 campaign. Ms. Jackson says she is transferring supervision of his release to the Southern District of Florida and determine later whether he will have a re-entry process hearing. Prosecutors initially asked for seven uh, to nine years in prison, but Attorney General William Barr reacted that a recommendation hours after uh, President Trump criticized it on uh, Twitter for being too harsh. A jury of nine women and three men convicted Mr. Stone on the 15th of November on charges that stemmed from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation on Russian meddling in the 2016 election. And that's it. Thanks for watching. The show continues. Thank you for staying tuned here with the performance uh, courtesy of Larry Waju Oshikpelu, uh, also known as Larry Andre. Now, he is a rising Afrobeat artist who fell in love with music at a very young age. We're talking 10 years old. Uh, listening to Sean Kingston and all the foreign artists, uh, they definitely inspired him. Now, in 2008, he got inspired by Nigerian acts like Wande Cole, The Badge, and Tubaba. But right now, we need to slow it down just a little uh, as he performs uh, the song titled Slow oh. Down. You wrote the song yourself, right? Yes, ma'am. And it's purely Afrobeat. Yes, exactly. Wow. So it's not like you're doing Afrobeat fusion or Afro... I've never heard that one before, but just purely Afrobeat, right? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to let you do your performance now. Slow down, right? All right, ma'am. Take it away. Why you do me like this? Told me boss my head like this. I shall caras on flea. She got the fibers and I was so tea. Why you do me like this? Told me boss my head like this. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, um, was, he was in the zone there. Nice, Larry Andre. Yeah. Well done, well done. Mm -hmm. I like these young guys just, you mm -hmm. know. Pop in and yeah. you know, trying to push their way out there. And mm -hmm. speaking of young guys, yes, sir. We have a young guy in the building, ever young, <laughs> ever popping. How's it going, Ash baby? So I'm all right, just had to crush my leg like you guys did. Yeah, well, you know, we're his all... name is Justice. Mm -hmm. yeah, justice, you know, justice. You, should, you should walk around with your fist up in the air, like yeah. justice. justice. No, people with one, they don't, they don't end well. <laughs> <laughs> Amandla. <Yeah. laughs> uh, he's a stand-up comedian, yeah. he's an actor, MC on air personality. He's, you know, going back on air you know, yeah. in less than an hour. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, Osh Baby is joining us this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you guys are welcome to the show. Though. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, daddy. Yeah, we can yeah, hand over to you. <laughs> no, no, I don't, know about, uh? I don't wait, wait, you guys go here like... 5 a.m.? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, about true, that. True. Some got here earlier. Mm. Oh, some got here. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah, like 4.45, 15 minutes. Yeah, this, she, she has to do eyes, then hair. Then hair. Yeah. Then How's that across now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. it's really great to have you in the studio. You yeah. know, you're a great friend of the house. And uh, when it comes to creating content and being out there, you seem to have a handle on it. So, and you make it look easy. So that question is, is it actually easy to be Oshbebe? Uh, to be me, to me, yeah. it's 
sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Mm. Yeah, because some, you won't just, what people would take a lot of time to put together, mm. I probably could do it in less than 30 minutes. Okay. And just, maybe that's how I'm formatted or, but I, it's not easy okay. if you are not me. <laughs> first because you probably just give up. Like mm -hmm. right now, I have a new manager that I might give up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because because this is is always up and down. Yeah. Whether there's a concert, there's no concert. Uh, we're, we're always moving out, creating new things, mm -hmm. and so that we can meet up. Uh, people are angry with just our work, so you just have to step up, upgrade, and keep tabs. If you don't. Mm. And you probably just wake up one day and uh, you you not get show again. That's you very understand? true. So, so talk to us about uh, the show, the Chronicles that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've been doing this year after year, and you know sometimes it looks easy at the end of the day when people arrive and oh look everything is nice and ah, they yeah. put camera everywhere. Mm. But you really, putting together a, a show like that of that size. Yeah. Uh, is a lot of work, but talk to us about the show itself. And well, you know. basically, the show. I think we started the show in 2014, mm. and so it has never been easy. And maybe even then, so we would just say, "Oh, let's see how it goes and let's yeah. support." That. But sometimes they see how much you put into it, and I don't know. Maybe they are just feeling like, "Well, no, we'll see whether if it do mm. let's just watch." But I, I, I. Th I want to be very grateful first to God because Baba is not easy. Hmm. You get, especially when you don't have any sponsorship, you are putting all your resources, doing the show. You don't even know, maybe after the show, your wife go run or your picking go <laughs> dress. <laughs> yes, that like, was wow, wow. without bad good day, but yeah. you just want to do what you have to do. And it gets to the point where you just feel that you owe the city entertainment. Hmm. And so, how you put it together is nobody's business, mm. but how you bring it to be is what you are busy about. So yeah. it's a very, very difficult work to do, getting every of all these persons to come together to agree <laughs> to a particular date like with you. Now to start bringing partner, um, sorry, yeah, mm. talking to other yeah. media partners, yeah. Yeah. seeing how you guys can reach to an agreement yeah. to, to come like, if TVC is not here, I probably won't be here. Yeah. You understand? So there are a lot more partners. I, but like over 30, mm. everybody's still going to be in one space. You still have to make plans to sell tickets. You still mm. have to get the setup right and all that. And most of your manager wants to run away. Yeah. We run. We run. No, this one has, this yeah. one has run. Already, already. <laughs> no, because, because to be very truthful, like uh, original, I don't really get to sleep because I have to still go to radio in the morning. Yeah. So maybe I start to find sleep by 2 a.m. Mm. Even in that sleep, you are planning some this witchcraft. You understand? <laughs> because you just feel like you are never satisfied with what you do. Oh. Or just a guy, you have to be on your feet. Mm. And sometimes you are in this activity, you not get joke. And then How do you, that's why I ended up not writing joke. Mm. Mm. I don't say I, to, to the future, I give God because mm. if I come on stage, if your head is bent, I will talk about it. So keep your head straight. <laughs> yes, because that's how I have to finally feed. Yeah. Because if I say, okay, let me go back, remember what it is that I've done. I'm, I'm the manager and production of Everything. the entire. So we're going to call for, for a clip of, of mm. one of your yeah. shows. And yeah. then after that, we'll just go over the details of what the chronicles of Ash Baby is going yeah, to be. Yeah, that is. You know, now you can plan where you get money. They talk for afternoon. <laughs> when I don't see you. Oh, God. It always, yeah. always looks put together. Mm -hmm. Everything. That's why I said, look, you mm -hmm. know, it, it can be that as easy as it looks, you know, because mm -hmm. the videos look very nice on YouTube of when course. you watch them. Of course, of <laughs> course. <laughs> but, but it can't be. Yeah, but anyway, can't. let's go over the details. Uh, mm -hmm. This program is on uh, the 23rd? Yes. On Sunday. This Sunday, Sunday, 23rd. Yeah. Yeah. This Sunday, 23 Yes, 23rd at Echo Hotels and, and 23 Suez. for Lagos. It's <laughs> <laughs> so only 23. Yeah. <laughs> of February. Yeah. For, yeah. for yeah. Europeans. At um, Echo Hotels. Echo Hotel. Yes, for 6 p.m. Okay. Red carpet. See, the point for now, mm. if you are watching and you come to my show, mm. you probably say, ah, we have to start late. We don't have any plan to start late this year. Mm. Okay. We don't have any plan. Mm. To be fair, we sold out all our tables, so yeah. we're not say we are. If you come to the show at 9 p.m., you probably just meet us Wrap getting to the end of the show. So okay. for 7 p.m., we're starting because we have over 50 acts. 
All right. Yeah. You have, have to start. Over 50 ads to, to run. It. Yeah, over 50 ads. And premium, just take away um, um, Bonner Boy, David and Whiskey. Every other person is in the show. So what the hell is expecting? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like that. That's no, amazing. You That's amazing. I, I, saw the lineup. I saw the oh, lineup. Really? Amazing lineup. Yeah. You know, comedians, you know, musicians. It's going to be a big show. Yeah. Massive. Uh, and for all you guys that like. <laughs> The Rema they did, yeah. Rema did. Or the fire Rema boy, did. Joe boy. If you want to cry, come Rema and cry. Rema fire boy, yeah. Joe boy. Everybody's cry coming love. to Osh Baby <laughs> Live. Mm. Right. Chronicles of Osh Baby. Yeah. Uh, Sunday the 23rd. Right. All right, right then. It's always great having him around. We're not letting him go yet. When we come back, it's game day, people. And he's playing with us. Yeah. Ah, welcome back. That was so much fun. Uh, I'm just glad I wasn't there. <laughs> I wish you just... were. <laughs> anyway, so something special happened over here. I just want uh, our viewers to see it. Wow, this looks good. I don't know if the camera can pick that. Uh, I'm, and I'm going to allow Chef Benjamin to tell us what he did. Uh, all right? Okay. Uh, so basically, this is uh, our going croquette. Uh, so uh, basically, you make the ewa going regular beans that we eat every day, mm -hmm. but just allow it to rest so that um, you could have it form into balls. Then yeah. you form it into balls, then dip it into uh, an egg. Then once you dip it into an egg, toss it into uh, a mixture. It yeah. could either be um, flour with a little breadcrumbs yeah. or just breadcrumbs yeah. okay. if you don't want flour. Okay. Yeah. Then it goes into a deep fried. It's yeah. get a bit deep fried. Okay. Then that's it for, um, for the ewa going. Yeah. Then uh, for the fish, the fish is... Uh, Pan said um, mackerel, okay. so pan it's a regular. Macro, yeah, yeah, it's a regular so one that's filleted. named. So it was filleted, and um, the pan Hi. said it. Hi. With uh, welcome, pan pan pan. Pan. Uh, congratulations. Now yeah. this year, dance for. <laughs> <laughs> you dance for this. We just right, uh, so you. What, you, what you do with the fish? Yeah, Woo! so the fish was pan said uh, with mm. compound butter and um, olive oil. Then we have roto jam that I made myself. Oh, roto jam. Yeah. That roto jam. So the roto jam is to um, jam, yeah. provide some sort of sweetness and balance to um, the flavor. So roto you don't have just pepper, 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 pepe, like the regular. Why do you yeah. do the plates like it's cleaning something? Okay, so uh, it's fine dining uh, setting. So yeah. it's a gourmet standard. Gourmet standard. Yeah, because I said earlier that I was going to do an Afro fusion. This guy. <laughs> so trying to put. Okay. Let's just go ahead. Your yeah, head is there. <laughs> so I, I dance for gourmet. <laughs> it's gourmet. So that that fish is pansy. It has some butter in it. Oh, some... my fave. Like, buffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go ahead. Do you realize that? Anyway. Go ahead. It's yeah. a going. Which one? A going. The, the balls you have then. Do you have bread? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. 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 Ah. I'll tell you, look what we're both from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. This is this is like amazing. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my cousins, the Kardashian family. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the jam. The Rodo jam. Rodo jam. Wow. But Rodo jam. you said this is beans. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh my God. What are you doing Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> need a meal like this. All right, you yeah. know what? Oh, well, you just didn't look this type of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because you're finishing it now. Yeah, we just, oh, we oh, just oh, allow you in like that. Oh, you don't oh, allow you in. Oh, <laughs> After the show for recording, that's what they do for home video. Mm. All right. While <laughs> he's <clears throat> expressing himself in yeah. many different ways, we have to wrap up the show. It's been a fun Friday, guys. Yes, it has. Yeah. A big thank you to Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. And of course, thank you to all our amazing guests throughout the whole week. Yeah. It's been amazing. We'll be back on Monday morning. Yes, yeah. indeed. Now, Chronicles of Osh, baby, is this, this Sunday. Sunday. Yes, sir. This Sunday, 23rd. Yes, sir. And of course, the Echo Hotels and all of that. You can get your tickets. Yeah. Where can you get tickets from? Go to the venue. Go to the venue. <laughs> Online, oshbaby.com. Oshbaby.com. I think Aria tickets as well. You, yeah. can, get, you can get your tickets. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Bye.